Welcome to this month's project video. This is the design video and it's for the drink tote. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a new file. Our dimensions are 19 by 10 by a half inch thick, double sided. Material surface is where our zero is going to be. The XY date and position is in the bottom left hand corner. Flip over on the long edge. Modeling resolution is the fastest. We say OK. Now the way I go about designing things is the first thing I do is a lot of times just look up something that is pleasing to me. So what I'll do is I'll go out on the internet and find some video or find some pictures of something that I like. So the one that I have is this image right here. I open it up and I kind of look at it and I go okay I kind of want to design it like this but not exactly like it. There's some other things that I would like to refine from it. So what I'll do is I'll look at it and say, what kind of basic shapes do I have? Well, the first thing that I have is, is if you look here, this is a rectangle. This is basically a circle up here and it's basically two arcs right here fitting the two together. So then I figure out, well, how high do I, how tall do I want this thing to be? So I'll make a square here and I've already know what I want it to be, so it's going to be ten and a half by six and a half. Or I'm sorry, ten and a half by five and a half. So that's the basic size of the of the rectangle that I'm looking at. Now I also look at this and go, this is about halfway up. So I'll go and make myself Come over here, grab me a line, and I will bring it a little bit more than halfway up. So this is going to be where my transition goes into my curves. The next thing is, is this looks like basically a circle. So I'll go to the circle piece. Three inch diameter seems to work pretty good. And say close. And what I will do is make that go against. this inside edge like that and I will make it go in the middle so this is in the middle of this box on the inside edge so now I got my kind of rounded off top now I want to take an arc from this point to this point over here so I'll go to the draw an arc I will come here and come to about right here and make it as pleasant as I can which is about right there Okay, I will take that arc and I will mirror it to this side. So I will go to the mirror. I'm going to flip it horizontally, or vertically, I'm sorry. And you notice that it did it vertical to the job center. And the job center happens to be from here to here. Well, I can click here. Now that becomes my job center. If I flip it, it still oh, it goes to the center of my job. Sorry. It's back up here. The next thing I want to do after I've made my circle is I want to make this whole thing in the center. And it just makes my life easier later on. So I'm going to center the whole thing. Now this is in the center of my job. Now I will make my arc. Got to bring my line over. I'm sorry. Bring my line over to about here. Okay, the next thing I want to do is make my arc from this point to my circle. Make it pleasant. 
I like that arc there. Now the next thing I want to do is bring this arc over to here and that's a mirrored function. So I want to mirror it. I want to flip it vertically about the job center. That's the reason why we put it in the center of the job so that when we do this, voila, it's over there where we want it to be. Now just the next thing I have to do now is just trim it out. So we can trim this circle out of here, come up here and trim this off. Come down here and do the same. And then trim off the square, trim off this point, and now I have the side of my drink tote. So that's part one that I'm done with. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is make the other parts. Well, I'm going to kind of speed it up here a little bit and open up a file that I've already got done. And here's the file that I've already done. As you can see, I've got a lot of parts. Now, the way I went about making all the parts is, is that I made this diagram. This diagram has the dimensions of the base and the side. Okay, the bottom and the side. You'll notice that my side is six and a half inches wide and my bottom is nine inches wide. Okay. Each one of these are a half inch thick, so if I put a half inch on each side of these, that overall is nine and a half inches. So what I did is make a rectangle that was a half inch by ten and a half inches, which is this one here. I put a dividing line right down the middle of it. So I had this piece right here. I took this piece and I'll get rid of these. I took this piece here which is one side and I know that I want nine and a half inches between the center of this side and the center of the other one. So what I did is I went to array. I want two columns, one row, and I need these to be nine inches apart. Okay, so I will take these and I will do X at nine inches. and copy it. As you can see, nine inches between them, if I got a quarter inch into here and a quarter inch into there, that's nine and a half inches. So those are my two sides. Now I need the stringer that goes between them. So all I did was make a rectangle starting right here and going over to here and up an inch or so. So it's nine and a half by one. Apply. That's my one inch stringer. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is make my dividers. Well, I know my dividers are going to have to be nine and a half inches long and I want my dividers to go up about three and a half inches because that's what I made this dimension as. So, I make a divider that is three and a half by what did I say that it had to be from here to here six and a half the total width I come in a quarter of an inch that's six and a quarter so I got to make them six and a quarter by three so I make a rectangle that is six and a quarter by three. Three by six point two five. Did I make that three? That's three and a half, I'm sorry. 
3.5 by 6 and a quarter. Make my rectangle. Now, there's my rectangle. For my divider, all I have to do is put a slot in it up through the middle. So what do I do is I make a slot out of 1 quarter by halfway up of 3 and a half is how much? 175 or I can do it the easy way 3.5 divided by 2 equals 175 apply that that's my divider slot now I want my divider slot to be in the center so what do I have to do? I highlight this, highlight this box, go here, say that I want it centered within that rectangle. And I also want it, the inside edge, to be even. I'm okay. There that is. The only thing I have to do now is get rid of these pieces here, get my scissors out, cut, cut. There's my side. Okay, we can go and check the dimensions. Six and a quarter by three five. Looks like what I need for this particular situation. Now, I can go down now and remember I have this nine and a half and I want this to be divided into three separate sections so what do I do take my one inch piece by nine and a half and I come in here and divide it out by three okay now one thing you have to take in consideration here is this nine and a half is not what you're dividing by three what you're dividing by three is nine inches but the easy way to do this is is you take and make your quarter inch piece which that's what this is and paste it at the very end right here okay now if I take this guy and say I want to make four not four columns four rows in one column and make it 2.85 I think it was 3 oh I put it in the wrong place Make it 2.83 in the y direction. I know this is 2.83 because I've already figured it out. But if you don't, let's say you just kind of roughly say, hey, I want to take 9 inches and divide it. Um, or let's see, I take 8.5 and, and divide it by 3. Let's do that here. 8.5 divided by 3 equals... 2.83333. Now, why did I use 8.5? Well, I already said that this is 9 inches long, or it's 9.5 inches long. A quarter inch off the edge, a quarter inch off of this edge is 9 inches. A quarter inch out of these two middles is what? 8.5. So I took 8.5, 8 8.5, divided that by 3, set equal. I let the machine do the math. Hit copy. Voila. It's even all the way across. That's all I need. Now, get rid of this one because I don't want that one to be cut. I'll get rid of this one because I don't want it to be cut. And I got the middle two left. And they are equal. 
Now, since I have all these dimensions here, my divider is basically this, except it's wider. It's three and a half inches wide. So what I can do is make a square or rectangle three and a half by nine and a half. Apply that and then I can set there and bring this up to the length here. And I can copy these guys. Paste them. I can move them up a little bit. Now I can take my big box and my cut spacers, pull them off to the side, and now all I have to do is make these long enough to what the length I want them. Well, I can come in here, and that one right now is a quarter by an inch and a half. Well, 3.5 divided by 2 equals 1.83. So I apply that. Brings it right down to the edge, almost. I can do the same thing down here. Come down here. Look at the rectangle. And make the width 3.5 divided by 2 equals... Apply it. There are my two pieces. You just bring them down just a tad to touch. Or actually what we can do, it's easier than that. Come here and highlight both. And then highlight this guy here. We sit there and tell them to go down to the bottom. And it takes them right down. Now all we have to do is come in here and oops didn't want to do that come and trim the no. For some reason it's not allowing me to do what I want to do let's get in here a little closer there we go okay now these don't look the same length do they well that's easy we'll just bring a line over oops close that out let's bring this over a line but what we're going to do is put it right on the end of this one. Always a way around things. Now, I can go into Node Edit. Bring this node down to that line. To the line. Voila, everybody's even again. Just different ways around things. Don't have to fret about it. So, we have our stringers made. We have our dividers made. The only thing that we need to do now is make the handle and the bottom. And they're basically rectangles, like I said before. Now, let's get rid of all this stuff kind of wondering why this is like this. Well, I'll tell you why. Here's our handle. Here's our body. I'm going to move these up to be right over the top of these guys here. Now, here's my handle be cut out. Here is my side. And then if we flip it over, here are the pockets that I have to make for all the pieces to be inserted into when I put it together. So, let's start off on the other side. Um, let's suppose we want to put some kind of writing in here. So we could go to text, 
sit there and say we'll make it Rick's tote. Okay. Say, okay. We're going to sit there and rotate it 90 degrees. Apply that. Size it to fit. And we can make it exactly in the middle. Because remember we put everything in the middle. Or we can put it in the middle of this. There we go. We're in the middle. Now, let's go do tool paths. Tool paths on this side are, well, the first thing we probably want to do is do text quick engrave. Uh, 90 degree V-carve is fine. Uh, we want to go down probably 10 thousandths. Um, just outline it. Calculate it. Okay. The next thing we want to do is cut these guys out. And that is going to be a profile. Name our profile handle and side. Cut depth that we want to go here, since it's a half inch, we want to go almost a half inch. I'll put 0.49. Um, we want to use a quarter inch end mill. Say OK. We're going to go on the outside, and we're going to add tabs, tenth of an inch, half inch big. I'm going to put three on each. Looks good to me. Say OK. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll. So we calculate that. Now let's uh, preview our tool paths. OK, everybody's done. And uh, we may want to make that text a little bit deeper, but it's okay the way it is. So the next thing we want to do is close out on that. I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to do these pockets. And basically what I did here is copied this over to the other to the other side and then put the pockets in and I've already got them figured out just re successfully redo them got the pockets are oh, I guess not let's do this handle inside pockets are the one I want okay here, 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 and here. Quarter inch. You want to go in. Quarter inch end mill. Calculate. Okay, that's all done. And then our side and back profile. Let's go back to our 2D view. Oh, we don't have to do the profile. The profile's already done. That's for the back and side. I'm getting myself confused. So we cut that. Preview the visible tool path. Go to the 3D view. You will notice now that our pockets are all cut and our profile is cut with our name on it. That's all there is to it. And you walk through all the files and do exactly the same thing. This is the designing process that I go through. So uh, stay tuned for the next portion of it is the machining of all these parts when we take all of our tool paths and do the machining. See you then.